Look, every guy wants that one entertainment room with, you know, lounger seats, some ambient lighting, some sound dampening, but the most important aspect has to be the screen. And that's where this is the best OLED screen money can buy, all 97, 97 inches, inches of, it. of it. This is the LG G2 97 inch OLED TV. And yeah, there's no doubt that this is stunning. I mean, this is like your own personal movie theater in your man cave or person game. To give you an idea how big this is, this is me, a 6 feet 3 guy looking kind of tiny in front of this massive TV. It's crazy. This brings an experience that's cinematic on a whole another level. Now this TV might be huge, but this is also very premium. I mean, this is a premium looking TV all around. Just look at it from the front. It's all clean, symmetrical bezels all around. There's not even an LG logo here. The bezels are also narrow, no matter from where you look at it. This is also crazy sleek. Just look at the sides. This is super thin for a massive TV like this. And I love how this sits flush in the wall. In fact, to access the ports here, you need to lift this TV up like this. And this has all the ports you need in a premium TV. All this is great, but the big, big highlight, quite literally, is this OLED panel. This is a 97-inch 4K OLED display with all the features. 120Hz fast refresh rate, 10-bit color gamut, pixel dimming, infinite contrast, HDR, Dolby Vision, OLED Motion Pro. Yes, this has everything and this looks incredible. This is a video that I think showcases the OLED colors, the deep blacks really well. And this is just breathtaking. Honestly, I don't think the video does justice to how good this looks in person. And it's not just videos like this. Movies and shows look awesome. There's obviously Dolby Vision support as well, as well as HDR in apps like Netflix and Prime Video. And supported content looks incredible. The colors pop, contrast is really good. Everything is sharp and detailed. And this big size obviously elevates the experience. The pan is also too bright. In fact, we had to lower down the brightness to take the shots of this display. I also noticed that the TV handles reflections really well. This also has LG's AI 4K upscaler and it tries some older shows to see how good the upscaling works and actually makes a good difference. This is the office running on this TV and it looks really good, pretty sharp for a show that debuted more than 15 years back. Also, you get all the picture modes here, including modes for cricket, a filmmaker mode, a couple of expert modes. And when playing Dolby Vision movies and shows, you also get these Dolby Vision modes to choose from. You must have also noticed the game mode here, and this screen is 120Hz. And when we played some console games on it, the experience was out of the world. There's no latency, there's no screen tearing. Games look great, and if you're wondering, this has all the gaming features. There's FreeSync support, G-Sync support, and you can see the FPS in games. There's variable refresh rate, auto low latency mode. So yes, this is great for gaming too. This TV also comes under LG's gallery edition of TVs, and that means this has the art gallery with a ton of different art to choose from, and with the TV sitting flush in the wall. It just looks like a big 97-inch painting hanging on the wall. This for sure will amp up any room, provided the room has a wall big enough to fit. Jokes apart, I also like how good the speakers here for a TV that's so sleek. See, the speakers are bottom firing and hidden behind, but these are 4.2 channel 60 watt speakers, including four speakers and two subwoofers. And it's not just numbers. The sound here is loud, detailed, and there's even some good bass here. There's also Dolby Atmos support. And I personally prefer the AI Sound Pro mode because that amplifies things really well. But there are these different sound modes as well. And since I'm talking about AI, this has all the AI features powered by LG's Alpha 9 Gen 5 AI processor. And you get the features like AI Picture Pro mode, AI Brightness, and a lot more, as you can see. This also comes with LG's WebOS experience, which is very smooth and responsive on this TV and it is feature rich. I mean, you get this home screen with these recommendations and apps and this has an app store with all the apps you need and this has some really handy features. For example, this has an internet browser built in that actually works well. There's both Google Assistant and Alexa support. I also like the dashboard for all the different devices connected to the TV as well as other smart home devices. There's this multi-view that lets you run two apps at the same time, which can be pretty useful. This also has both Chromecast and AirPlay support. This also comes with LG's Magic Remote, which has all the dedicated keys and buttons and it can be used like a cursor with a point and everything. I also like how it lights up when pressing a button or when using voice commands. Look, all said and done, when it comes to this TV, it's all about this insane 97 inch OLED panel. There's just no gimmicks here. I mean, the cinematic experience this brings is mind blowing and you have to experience it to know exactly what I'm talking about. Add to that the super sleek and premium LG design, all the really cool features and you get a TV that's probably the dream OLED TV for a lot of people. Now, as for the price, like I said at the start, it is mind blowing. This costs 20 lakh rupees. So I want to know from you guys, what do you guys think of this 97 inch OLED TV from LG? Make sure to share your thoughts in the comments down below and thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.